Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. We got a window sticker. All right, so we went to the Ford dealership the other day as we were talking about in the last video. We got a lot of information from them, including our window sticker. They send this out as soon as, uh, I guess, your Bronco is shipped. And uh, it also goes through, you know, um, a few other features of the Bronco. You can enroll on classes on a kind of a virtual walkthrough. Uh, but we wanted to go through the window sticker because I don't know if you've seen a Bronco window sticker. We certainly haven't. The first thing I want to say is for all of those first edition reservation holders that got cut off at the knees uh, for a mistake that a dealer made, uh, we, we, our heart goes out to you. Uh, that as soon as we heard that happening, uh, we her, our heart sank because uh, we had been pushed forward, pushed back, pushed forward, pushed back, and it was very possible that we were in that group. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it looks like a lot of people lost their reservations completely uh, because they weren't able to get back with their dealer. Their dealer didn't put their uh, order change in for 2022 uh, for a different model. And, uh, and then that truly sucks. Um, and it looks like most of that uh, could be dealer issues. Uh, I, I have heard a few that were issues with a, a customer placing an order for like a painted hardtop and painted hardtop right. was going to be a delay, and then uh, they, you know, then for some reason it didn't get taken off the order, and so therefore it was canceled. Uh, but in any case, we did get confirmation that our shipped, and we got the window sticker showing that uh, we we actually have a Bronco coming, and so we wanted to go through this window sticker a little bit. So the first thing that we noticed when we started looking at this is that the price that we had on here hasn't changed since the first time we got the price. Uh, so the total MSRP on this was $62,715. And we talked to our dealer about the uh, Ford Satisfaction Fund or the Bronco Satisfaction Fund. And they seemed to be very prepared for this answer. And they said that based on the amount that they received and divvying it up between all the Broncos they're going to be delivering, it's $265. So uh, I don't know if that's true. If it's not true. Uh, if every dealer got a thousand for every vehicle and they can or they can use up to a thousand and decided not to uh, We really don't know. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to get any of it I thought there was going to be zero maybe you know a koozie and a hat or something like that uh, And it wouldn't affect whether we're buying the Bronco. So it's not that big a deal. Uh, I don't know how you feel about it Well, some kind of accessory would have been nice. Yeah, well if our money towards the accessory. Yeah, so I noticed that there are a lot of people that are getting like uh, Yeti coolers and, and hats and koozies and stuff. And we have a lot of coolers, so I don't really need any more coolers. So if that if that $265 could be rolled into some other kind of accessory, that would probably be fine. We would do that probably better. Right. At some point, we're going to have to put a hitch on this thing. And they don't... So the first editions were originally available with a towing package. Uh, then... The towing package mysteriously disappeared off of the ordering sheet and we couldn't order it anymore. I asked the dealer about that and he said that it was based on shipping weight. Literally, the towing package was going to cost more to ship the truck because it pushed it over a certain weight uh, than if it was on there. So, so it's not it, a Right. So at that point, I'm, I'm assuming the shipping would be more expensive than the actual accessory would be and that's what they were kind of alluding to. So we're going to have to put, so that was pulled off the order and we're going to have to put one back on again. And from what I'm hearing, that's $700 to $1,000 or something like that to put one on and it could be more than that. We're actually going to try to do that ourselves if we can get the part. And the roof rack. Right, and it doesn't come with a roof rack either. So that would, that would be the number one thing we want is a roof rack because we ski and yeah. we want to make sure that we can get skis onto the vehicle uh, with no hitch we can't get a hitch mounted rack you know, with no roof rack we can't put them on top so it means we're going to have to put them inside which isn't going to work too well with four skiers every other part of the vehicle was exactly the way that we had ordered it a modular bumper with a brush guard first edition hood and body side graphics which we could take or leave really a full uh, vehicle steel bash plates uh, the, the bronco grill letters are going to be in white the headlamps uh, have auto high beam and it has the signature lighting on it, which is going to be really cool. The heated mirrors, dual AC climate control, adaptive cruise control, which we've never had in a vehicle before, so that would be interesting to try that. We did the all Onyx black seats, 10-way adjustable seats, 8-way on the passenger, 
Uh, this one comes with the Lux package. Uh, obviously, it's a Sasquatch with a 4.7 uh, rear differential with a locking diff. 360 camera, Copilot 360. It has the front stay bar disconnect, push button start, the 12 inch screen, three year 36,000 bumper to bumper warranty, five year 60,000 powertrain, and then five year 60,000 roadside assist. The 17 inch black beadlock wheels, which actually come standard on this unit, uh, 31570, they're basically 35 inch tires. And then uh, the storage bags uh, for the front and rear doors. Uh, we did have a keyless entry pad put on because we've actually used that in the, in the uh, Raptor. And we don't use it a lot, but we use it occasionally and it does come in handy. Front license plate bracket because we live in Colorado. So that total base price is $61.1. The options that we put on there, $110, is essentially the keypad that's on the door. And then uh, delivery was about $1,500. So that brings us to $62,715. Over on the side, 17 mile per gallon uh, fuel economy, which isn't great, but actually the, the Raptor gets about 13 on a good day. Uh, so we're already ahead of the game there. And then uh, it hasn't been uh, crash rated yet. So we'll be the first ones. We'll be the crash test dummies on this one. No, don't say that. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is. The fact that we are part of the whole first edition fiasco and the fact that uh, we didn't, you know, hindsight being 2020, didn't realize that it was going to be such a big deal. I think one of the first videos that we did on the Bronco, on the new Bronco on this channel, I was talking about my disappointment that they went from 3,500 to 7,000, knowing that, you know, 3,500 is pretty limited, 7,000 is still very limited, uh, but double. And so I was a little disappointed in that. Uh, but time has really kind of detuned that considerably. We actually thought about going away from the first edition a few times uh, and doing something like even going down to a base right. uh, or, you Just know. building up from there. Yeah, or a Badlands or something like that. Uh, because the savings is, is substantial and really the Bronco isn't that much different. Uh, you have the Lux package, uh, which is cool. We like that. We like that 12 inch screen after riding uh, at the Bronco Super Celebration and seeing that screen, the 12 inch screen with the, with the 360 view where you can see both of the sides in Colorado with shelf roads, I think would be Unbelievable. So that that's kind of one of the whole reasons why I even love this this vehicle is due to the cameras that are on that thing and what we're going to be using with them four wheeling and stuff. So I think that would be really cool. I mean, it's a that learning was, curve for me. <clears throat> yeah, it's, I have a '94 YJ, no screen. Yeah, yeah. All we'll of our most this. of our vehicles, other than the Raptor, are pretty analog. So so this is going to be a big departure for us and off roading. I'm, other than again the Raptor, I've never really used something with this much technology off-road. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the trail assist features, although they seem cool, uh, I'm a very analog driver, so I don't think I'll be using those a lot. But I will test them, see if you know maybe they do it better than I do. Uh, and uh, definitely when Mandy drives, uh, I, I think I'll be using all of them. Yeah, so I think <laughs> that, you know that would be, I think that would be pretty awesome because when we get when we get the Stormtrooper done. Uh, we will probably, I will probably be driving this one or okay. this one and she could be driving the new Bronco or something with the, with the trail aids on it uh, that we, we can mix and match and do things like that. Uh, but you know, it's got, it's got the Sasquatch, it's got the uh, Bilstein shocks. Um, basically everything on it is as upgraded as you can get without actually going to aftermarket parts. So I understand that it's going to be expensive. I just hate the fact that uh, people lost their orders off of something silly. And, um, you know, I would almost rather have those uh, first editions on the road so we have a bigger family of first editions out there. How many first editions do you think will actually be built? Maybe? It went from 3,500 to 7,000. I'm guessing probably five. 5,000? Yeah. I think we're not going to make them after. That's probably right a good now, guess. Actually. That's, so. that's going to be a good guess. I'm actually going to go. I'm gonna go, that's 2,000 less. I think I'm gonna split the difference. I'm gonna say 6,000. Okay. I'm gonna say may maybe 1,000 didn't get built for whatever reason. I hope reason. you're more right than I am for well, we'll everybody's see. sake, so. We'll see, but in any case, uh, put your number down in the description. How many first editions do you think are actually going to be built? Uh, and then we look forward to getting our Bronco this week. And then as soon as we do, right across the street, and we're gonna go put a scratch on it. That's a wrap for my point three garage. Help us grow our channel by liking and subscribing and share, please. And we'll see you in the next video.